Hey everybody, in this video we are going to simplify expressions with exponents. So first we've got 3x squared times 3x. What we can do is multiply the 3 by the 3 and get 9. And then when we multiply these x's, what we do is we add the exponents, 2 and 1. So we're doing 2 plus 1, so that's 9 times x to the third power. And here again we are multiplying, so this is 1 times 4, which is 4, and then v, 3 plus 3, so it's 4v to the sixth power. Next we are going to raise to a power, so 3 to the negative 2 power, y to the negative 1 to the negative 2 power. My first move on this, though, is going to be to change this negative 2 power to a positive 2 power, and here's how I do that. I take everything inside these parentheses and move it into the denominator so it becomes 1 over 3y to the negative 1. And now that is all to the positive 2 power. Since I took all of this stuff and moved it to the denominator, that negative 2 power becomes the positive 2 power. Now I'm going to start raising things to the second power. So I've got 1 to the second power is 1. 3 to the second power is 9. And then y to the negative 1 to the second power, what I do is I multiply those exponents, so that's y to the negative 1 times 2 power, so that's 1 over 9y to the negative 2 power. Now I won't leave my answer like that because I don't want to leave any negative exponents. This negative 2 power only applies to the y, so I'm going to move this up to the numerator and it's going to become a positive 2 power. So I'll have 1 times y to the second, so y squared over 9. Here, once again, I've got a negative power, so I need to take all this stuff in the parentheses and put it into the denominator. So that's 1 over 4xy cubed. And now that negative 1 power became the positive 1 power. And everything to the first power is 1 over 4xy cubed. Okay, so I'll simplify here. I've got a 1 over 3. That's just going to stay 1 over 3. And I'll only write the 1 in the numerator if that's all that's left in the numerator. Then the x's, the bigger power is in the denominator, so I'm going to take this smaller power and move it down and we do that by subtracting so it's going to be x to the 3 and then this is a 1 minus 1 power and here in the numerator the y is bigger so y to the 3 and then when we move this up we subtract so it's minus negative 4 or plus 4 so we have y to the seventh power over 3x squared. Then we have 2 over 4, which is 1 over 2. So that's 2 in the denominator. I'll only write the 1 in the numerator if that's all that's going to be left. The y's and x's both seem to be bigger in the denominator than they are in the numerator. So that's x to the fourth, and then minus negative four, and y to the first power, minus negative three. So we are subtracting those exponents as we move them from numerator to denominator. And there's nothing left up top, so I need to write that one. So I've got one in the numerator, and then two x to the eighth, and y to the fourth. Then I've got a negative 4 power here, so I need to move that to the denominator. So everything in these parentheses is going to go to the denominator to become the positive fourth power. 
So that's going to leave nothing on top. So there's a 1 left on top. We have our x squared. And then when I move this to the bottom, it becomes the positive fourth power. So that's 2yx to the negative third now to the positive fourth power. Now I can start raising things to the fourth power. So that's 1 over x squared times 2 to the fourth power. That's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's 16. y to the first power times 4 is y to the fourth power. And x to the negative third to the fourth, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Now I need to take this and move it to the numerator to have a positive power. So that's x to the 12th power over 16x squared y to the 4th. Um, I could have actually combined these already, but I didn't. So I'll move this up here by subtracting it. 12 minus 2 is 10, so that's x to the 10th over 16y to the 4th power.